My name is Kayla, and I play the flute. Hi, I'm Allison, and I play the oboe. Hello, my name is Raymond, and I play the clarinet. Hi, my name is Anne, and I play the bassoon. The flute, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon are all members of the woodwind family. In general, woodwind instruments are narrow cylinders with an opening at the top and the bottom and holes that are covered and uncovered by your fingers to change notes. If you break down the word woodwind, you get two parts, wood and wind. Let's start with the wind first. All woodwind instruments need wind to make a sound. We create that wind by blowing air through the instrument. A flutist blows air across an opening in the head joint, much like you'd blow air across the opening of a bottle to make a sound. A clarinetist blows air into a mouthpiece. And oboists and bassoonists make sound when the air is blown between two reeds. More on that later. That takes care of the wind part. Now let's chat about the wood component of the name woodwind. The earliest woodwind instruments were all made of wood, even the flute. Nowadays, woodwind instruments can be made of wood, metal, plastic, or different combinations of those. Today's oboes, clarinets, and bassoons are still made of wood, while modern flutes can be made from metals like nickel, platinum, and even gold. The flute is a beautiful instrument that makes the highest sounds in the woodwind family. Because it is made of metal, it can create sounds that are able to cut through the rest of the orchestra, even though there are only three of us in an entire symphony. Because of this quality, the flute often gets to play the melodic lines and lots of fast notes. The flute has three parts, the head joint, the body, and the foot joint with keys running the length of it. I make sound by blowing air across this opening in the head joint and change notes by moving my fingers up and down on the keys. I love playing the flute because it's such a wonderful instrument to express different characters and feelings with. It can be soft and mysterious or bubbly and happy. Let me show you the beautiful range of colors and moods that the flute plays. The clarinet is known as a single reed instrument. A reed is a thin piece of wood that vibrates to produce a sound. I attach a reed to the mouthpiece and the reed vibrates against the mouthpiece when I blow against it, making the sound. Clarinets make beautifully rich and mellow sounds and can also play very low and very high. My favorite part of playing the clarinet is its sound and its ability to play a very large dynamic range. The clarinet can play at the softest volume of any instrument in the orchestra. Oboes and bassoons are called double reed instruments. 
This means that instead of blowing into a mouthpiece with one reed attached to it like the clarinet, we blow air in between two reeds that are tied together. You can buy reeds in music stores or even online, but most professional musicians make their own reeds at home. It takes a lot of work. While the oboe looks a lot like the clarinet, they sound very different. The oboe has a clear, bright, and sometimes penetrating sound. That comes in handy when the orchestra is tuning. You may have noticed that at the start of every concert or rehearsal, the oboe plays an A and the whole orchestra tunes to us. My favorite part of playing the oboe is the music we get to play in the orchestra. Composers use the oboe to play solos that are often beautiful, slow, sometimes haunting and quite emotive. A good example of an oboe solo like this is from Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake Ballet. Like the oboe, the bassoon is also a double reed instrument. My reed fits into a tube called the bocal. And when I blow into the reed, the air travels through the bocal and into the instrument. Because the bassoon is so big, I have to use a lot of air. Also because of its size, the bassoon is almost always played sitting down. And because it's large, it can play the lowest notes of the woodwind family. <laughs> Just like the flute, oboe, and clarinet, the bassoon has finger holes and keys along the instrument, but we're the only instrument that has keys for both thumbs to play. The bassoon has a beautiful and mellow sound that blends very nicely with the other instruments, and I love that I get to play music with my friends every day. Here is an excerpt from one of my favorite pieces that features the bassoon, The Sorcerer's Apprentice. <laughs> Thank you for watching. For more videos like this one, visit kcsymphony.org.